What's going on, children of Israel? Chosen elect. Let's get with it. Fasten your seatbelts. Uh, let's start with Psalms 84, verse 10. It says, For a day and night courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. That's pretty deep, man. Read that again. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper. I like that word doorkeeper. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness, man. It's time to come out the shadows of darkness, man. And to the marvelous light, man. It's time to be a doorkeeper. It's time to be clean. Let the Lord clean you up. Let's go to uh, Isaiah, man. Are you a doorkeeper? That's the same as being a watchman for the house of Israel. That's basically the same thing, man. Uh, if you are a, if you a watchman, you a doorkeeper. Isaiah nine. Verse 1. Let's go there. Isaiah 9, verse 1. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation uh, when at first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. These are the two tribes. That's the northern tribes. Okay. And afterward, they, they became Gentiles. These northern tribes became Gentiles. Okay did more uh, grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan in Galilee of the nations. That's who Jesus was talking about in uh, Matthew chapter 4, verse 13 through 17. Matthew chapter 4, verse 13 through 17. Going to these Gentile nations. Okay. Uh, the people walked in darkness, right, have seen great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them had light shine. See? Them that walked in darkness have seen great light. Have you seen this great light? Have you seen the great light? They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. That's the world, man. That's the flesh life. That's your that's the natural. That, that's our first uh, man born through Adam and Eve. Remember Job cursed his day that he was born? That's what this is. The day that you were born, your birthday, is the shadow of death. The land of darkness. You were born in darkness, right? In sin, shaping unto iniquity. Right? The people that walked in darkness... Our natural life have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them had light shine. Oh, did you catch that? Let's go to the New Testament. Let's pick that up. We line upon line, precept upon precept. That's how we do it. Line upon line, precept upon precept. Second Peter chapter 1. 19. What did we just read? 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. Here's what we just read. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. It's the scriptures, man. That's the light. The scriptures is a light. A more sure word of prophecy. Were unto you do well that take heed as a light. You the living word of God, man. Right? Once the word is in your heart, that is. Once you are converted, that is. You have to be converted. I'm talking to those who are converted. Those are the watchmen. Those are the doorkeepers. Transformed into Christ. Huh? As unto a light that shineth in a dark place. This world is a dark place. They still celebrate their birthdays, don't they? They don't get it. 
They still love this world, don't they? They don't get it. And have you come out from among them? Have you separated yourself? Do you condemn what God has condemned? Do you condemn the flesh life? Do you condemn this world? Noah was a preacher of righteousness. The Bible said Noah condemned this world. Jesus condemned this world. And John 7, 7, he said the works thereof are evil. Do you know the world going to be consumed with fire? He's going to burn this thing up. Everything you see, he's going to burn it up. Only those in Christ Jesus, only them that are in this light, those are the ones that ain't going to burn. They're going to burn it because they the fire. They come out of God. And that's why we return it to God. God is a consuming fire. He make his ministers what? A consuming fire, a flame of fire. Are you fire? Then you are a doorkeeper. Are you fire? Then you are the watchman of the house of Israel. In a dark place. Let's read that again. You are as a light. The light of the world. That shineth in a dark place. This world is a dark place, man. Right? Until the day dawn. Who that is? Who that? Who that is? And the day star. Or rise in your hearts. Who is that, y'all? Who is that? I mean, you being tell you you already know. If you watching this video, you know what's up. We're gonna come back there. But let's answer that question. Who's that day dawn? Day star. Alright. Who that y'all? Ephesians three. What we want? Ephesians three what? 16, I think, right? Ephesians 3, 16. Uh, 16 and 17. Ephesians 3, 16 and 17. Let's get to that. Ephesians 3, 16 and 17. That he will grant you, you, according to the riches of his glory. That's what make you rich right there. That's the light right there. Right? Can you see? Right? that uh, Them that sit in darkness, the shadow of death, had light shine. That's his glory, man. God's glory is Jesus Christ. That's Jesus Christ. God's glory. All right? To be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. This is where the light come. In your inner spirit. In your inner man is your spirit. Your subconscious, man. He lights you up. Uh, the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. Right? The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. He lights up your spirit, man. He enlightens all your darkness. That you become pure light like he is pure light. Verse 17, that Christ may dwell in your... Oh, look at that. Jesus Christ. Didn't we say that? That's the light, man. That's the day dawn. The day star. The day dawn. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Are you in the faith? Do you have the faith of Jesus? You can't have the kingdom without the faith. Are you strong in faith? Have you separated yourself from darkness? That ye being rooted and grounded in love. In God's love, man. Are you rooted and grounded? That's death, burial, and resurrection right there. That's death, burial, resurrection, and ascension. The Lord is your house. You dwelling in the house of the Lord right there. Christ is the house of the Lord. That's Noah's ark. That's your ark. Today. This is the same as Noah, Noah and his family being on that ark. That's salvation, man. Right here is salvation. The day dawn. The day star. Arise in your heart. That's Jesus Christ. We reading it right now. That Jesus Christ may dwell in your heart and don't say that don't say jesus jesus is the christ the bible the whole bible's the testimony that jesus is the christ come on man that's what's written in our hearts the scriptures right now y'all gonna make me go to john i you know 
some scoffers watching this video, man. Some scoffers, man. That's all right. We 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 deal with scoffers. We deal with scoffers. John twenty verse thirty one. Here's for the scoffers, man. Here's for the scoffers. John twenty verse thirty one. These, but these are written. The scriptures are written, right? That ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ. Then we just read that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. And I said Jesus, and the scoffer said, it don't say Jesus. Well, it says Jesus. The whole book says Jesus. Jesus is the volume of the book. He is the day dawn, the day star that arises in our hearts. Right? We that sit in darkness and the shadow of death. So we can come out. We can come out of darkness. We can come out of the shadow of death. We can testify that Jesus is the Christ. The Son of God. And the Son of God, that's our house. He's, he's the Father. We become the Son of God. He took our place. He was representing you and me in the earth. When he walked the earth, he was representing you and me. That's why he was called the Son of Man. You give birth to Christ in your spirit, through your loins, same as David. All right? Uh, and that believing you might have life through his name, N-A-M-E. Only those that believe in the day dawn, the day star. Let's get back over there, day dawn, the day star. Hope y'all with me. Am I going too fast? Probably going too fast for some of y'all. But you just might have to watch this video two or three times till you get it. That's all. You're going to have to do your homework. Some of y'all can keep up. Some of y'all can't keep up. Keep up with a brother, man. Keep up. Uh, let's go back to 2 Peter. 2 Peter 1, 19. But we have also a more sure word of prophecy. The scripture. I like that word, prophecy. Would you do that? Whereunto you do well... That you take heed, take heed to what we reading. Take heed to these scriptures. As unto a light, the day dawn, the day star, the Christ, Jesus, the Son of the living God. That's the light. That's the light. That shineth in a dark place until the day dawn. Right? That's who Christ is. And the day star arise in your heart. Is he risen in your heart? Are you are you a witness? Are you a watchman? Are you a doorkeeper? That means we keep the BS out, man. We keep the BS out of this, man. He put Noah, no, excuse me, excuse me, Adam, in the garden of Eden. He said to dress it and to keep it. Adam's job was what? Guard it. Guard that guard, man. You got to keep the BS out of your heart. You got to keep the BS out of your mind. You got to keep the BS out of your spirit. You got to not partake of the BS, man. The BS got to be under your foot. Uh, you got to expose the people who uh, have the doctrine of the BS. Uh, you are you a soldier. Uh, you on let me get there. Let me get there. Let's go to Proverbs real quick. Let's go to Proverbs four. Some of y'all know where I'm going. Twenty-three. Proverbs four twenty-three. See, this is your heart, man. It says, Keep thy heart with all diligence. That's what the Lord is Lord is supposed to be in your heart. Your new heart. This is keep your heart with all diligence. That means be vigilant. Right? Be vigilant. Be alert. Be awake. For out of it are the issues of life, man. Alright? Put away from you the forward mouth, perverse lips. Put it far from thee. Let thy eyes look right on and let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Keep your eyes on Jesus. 
looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Ponder the feet of the, uh, the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. What does that mean? The scriptures, man. His word is a lamp unto my feet, and what? A light unto my path. You got the light in you, don't you? Are you a watchman? Are you a doorkeeper? Huh? Then his word should be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your pathway. Then it say, you are as the light that shineth in a dark place. Come on, man. I'm trying to soldier you up. Take off them pampers. Take off them pull-ups. Come on now. And put the Holy Ghost draws on you. It's time for many of y'all to get winged. Get winged from T.D. Jakes. Get winged from Christianity Doctrine. Get winged from all these phony balonies. Gino, whatever they do. Gino, I had people tell me, uh, compare me to Gino. That's an insult. Compare me to Gino? Come on, man. I got the kingdom of God. Gino, Gino is of this world. He got big old buildings. Probably a multi-millionaire. Sure, he owns a whole block. You seen his church, his buildings? Through own blocks. He got his reward in this world. My reward is the kingdom of God that's in me. I'm waiting on the return of Jesus Christ. Don't get it twisted. The earth is, is the Lord. The earth is mine too. I'm an heir of Christ, an heir of God. But I'm waiting on my reward. I have nothing in this earth, man. No possessions. Why in the book of Acts, the apostles sold all they the, the people of God in the scriptures. With the Acts chapter 4, they sold all the lands and properties and buildings and possessions. They sold all that stuff. And why the, the uh, ministers today and the people uh, who claim to be of, of the Lord, they accumulating all these properties, these buildings and properties and businesses and all that. They, they preach education. They preach uh, prosperity, worldly prosperity of this world. Gino was a, a worldly prosperity man. He got loot. He got armor bearers of this world. Same as Minister Farrakhan. He the same as Farrakhan. Come on, man. Y'all look up to these people. That's an insult compared to me to any of those cats. They don't preach that we the chosen people. 12 tribes of Israel, who's Judah. They don't reveal who Judah is. They don't show who the white man is in the Bible. That's Esau, Edomites. They don't preach separation. Come on, man. They of this world, man. They the, the, the white man paying them to preach what they preach. Don't insult me, I'm, uh, uh, me and compare me with Gino. Uh, you and Gino preach the same thing. Bro, really? Really? You not a doorkeeper. You thinking like that. You not no doorkeeper. You like Gino. You ain't no doorkeeper. You not a watchman of the house of Israel. You still in darkness. The day dawn and the day star has not risen in your heart. You don't see Jesus Christ exalted as the king. He's not sitting in the throne of your heart. Come on, man. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness of the, earth, the world. They that dwell in Jesus Christ, man, ain't none other. We got one head, man. One head. His name is Jesus Christ. One God. One Lord. One faith. One baptism. We supposed to be preaching the same thing, man. Come on. Gino on something. Gino on another thing. He out there getting his own glory. His name is in the lights, man. He got the fame. He got the glory. That's not Jesus Christ. Come on, that's not the kingdom of God. If that's the kingdom of God, we all supposed to be under Geno. If that's the kingdom of God, we all supposed to be under Geno. I'm preaching Jesus Christ that we all supposed to be under. Ain't, ain't, let me get that scripture. That's second thing. Showing you, I'll show you what the kingdom of God is. Stay right there. Don't you run. Don't you run. Get back here. Don't you run. Stay in the kitchen. I know it's getting hot. Stay in this kitchen. All right? I'm going to... I'm gonna, let, let's make it hotter in this kitchen. Second Thess chapter 1. Oh, I want chapter 2, don't I? 
Second test, two and one. That's what we want. Second test, second test, two and one. That's what we want. Second test, two, verse one. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Don't you run nowhere. Come on. Now we beseech you, brother. That's big. He's pleading with you. He's pleading. Paul is pleading. Now we beseech you, brethren. Talking to the brother. That's the those are the household of faith. Those are who are one man and one accord, man. The brethren are one man, one accord. We preach the same thing. We preach Christ crucified. We preach Jesus Christ exalted, ascended. We preach Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. At the right hand of God. Okay, revealed. That means revealed. That's the daydon and the stage star revealed, man. Right? Stephen saw him, or Stephen, in Acts chapter 7. Being stoned, calling upon God, saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Calling upon God. Saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He saw him. He was full of the Holy Ghost. Now, you don't know who God is till you full of the Holy Ghost. Right? Let's read this. Uh, now we beseech you, brother, true believers, circumcised in their heart, right? By the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what we preach. That's who we preach. That's who we exalt. The day dawn and the day star, our Lord Jesus Christ. And check this out. I like this. And by our gathering together unto him. Right there. Boom. 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 We don't gather together under Gino. We don't gather together under T.D. Jakes. We don't gather together under the Christianity banner. We don't gather together under Farrakhan. We don't gather together under organized religion. We gather together unto the name of the Lord Jesus. That's the prophecy. Remember the spirit of prophecy we read there in second uh Peter, right? That's the prophecy, man. You gotta keep your eye on the prophecy. You know, even the kings of old and the the, the people of God, they will look into the prophecies of the book, man. Huh? Um, they will look into the book. Genesis 49 verse give give you an example of what I'm talking about. Uh Genesis 49:8. Is that what I said? Gen Genesis 49:8. And Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren, there's that brethren again. Brethren are the same man, same court. Well, again, we preach the same thing. We teach the same thing. We got one Lord, one God, one Messiah. These things are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that be believing you may have life through his name. Name, N-A-M-E. Brethren, uh, shall praise. Jesus come out this tribe, Judah. That's why we praise Judah. Judah mean pray. We praise Jesus. Right? We praise Jesus who come out of Judah. And thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Come on, doorkeepers. Put your hands in their neck. Choke them out. Come on, doorkeepers. Right? Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whip from the prey. My son, thou art gone up. He stooped down and crouched as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? It's time to get roused up. It's time for the Holy Ghost to rouse you up. Holy Ghost, quicken these dry bones. Rouse the people up. Let them that sit in darkness and the shadow of death see great light. Let them rise up. Ezekiel 30 said, let them stand up on their feet as soldiers. As a great and exceedingly and a mighty army of the Lord Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Time to stand up, watchmen. Time to stand up, doorkeepers. The scepter shall not depart from you. Whoa, 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 look at that. This is the rulership. This is the sonship. This is the Godhead. 
the scepter shall not depart from Judah. Come on now. We got the scepter. We got the book. This is the stab that was in Moses' hand. The scriptures. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come. And we just read it in Second Thess, 2 and 1. Jesus Christ is Shiloh. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. We read that prophecy. That prophecy is fulfilled. That prophecy is fulfilled now. And we need that testimony. Do you have that testimony? Revelations. Some of y'all know where I'm going. 19. Revelations 19. Verse 10. Revelations 19. 10. You got to have that testimony, man. The day dawn and the day star. Huh? That's what makes you a watchman. That's what make you a doorkeeper. Right? Those that fight against the BS, man. Gino is full of BS. T.D. Jakes is full of BS. Christianity is BS. Hebrew is like son of Mosaic law. BS. Muslims, BS. Roman Catholic Church, BS. The fake Jews over in our, in our land, full of BS. The government of this world, BS. The news of this world, BS. Everything about this world, BS. Even your birthday, your fleshly life is BS. Come on now. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Huh? Come out that darkness. Rock the boat. This is the shaking of the fig tree. God's going to shake heaven and earth. Come on now. Revelation uh, 19.10. Let's do it. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Have you done eh? And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And of the brother. Is that brethren again? That had the testimony of Jesus. Do you have the testimony of Jesus? Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. There it is. The day dawn. The day star. Testimony of Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. Let's go back to Second Peter. Second Peter. What was it? One nineteen. Let's read it again. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. The scriptures is the word of prophecy, man. Whereunto you do well that take heed as unto a light that shine up in a dark place. That's who you're supposed to be right now. Until the day dawn, the day star, arise in your hearts. Are you a witness to this? Knowing this first, that no prophecy, there it is again, of the scripture is of any private interpretation. That means you can't change none of the scripture. You can't say it wasn't no letter J. You can't say his name is not Jesus. That's what this means right here. You can't add nor take away. That's what it's telling you. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. I mean, this is as is, man. You set this book as is. Can't add, you can't take away. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. The day dawn and the day star, man. So many don't have this testimony. They not standing. They not coming out. You not make make yourself manifest. Some of y'all been watching these videos for, for a long time. You ain't making no videos. I know you saying you don't think you gotta make no videos. So that means you still in darkness and shadow of death. You still in darkness and shadow of death. You won't sh manifest. You won't manifest. You won't show thyself. You following the far. We did that video. Y'all didn't see the video. Simon Peter, I said that's you. Remember Peter followed the four off? They was afraid of the persecution of Jesus Christ. They was afraid of the persecution. All the apostles 
they ran. All the disciples ran, man. When they, that heat got turned up in, on Jesus Christ, they shall smite the shepherd and the sheep sh shall uh, 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 be scattered. They afraid of that persecution, man. You, how many of y'all afraid of persecution for Jesus' name's sake? Because you know that's, re that's required, right? Do you know that's required to be a watchman? To be a doorkeeper? Huh? You gotta... Uh, let's get that, man. Philippians 1. Uh... Uh, yeah, Philippians 1, 29, that's it. But I want to start with 27. 29 is the point. Uh, 29 is the point. But we start with 27. Philippians 1. Only let your conversations be as it becoming the gospel of Christ. Yeah, that's our number one conversation. Really, that's our only conversation, man. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind. See, we, we, that's the brotherhood. That's the household of faith. Striving together for the faith of the gospel, man. We live for the gospel. We will die for this gospel. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, check this out, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake, man. It's not given on you. You can't just say you believe on Christ. But also to suffer for his sake, man. Uh, you can't just say you believe in Christ. Where's your cross? Huh? Where's your persecution? Huh? Uh man, you holding your sword back from blood. Let's get that Jeremiah 49. What is it? 49, 8, 49, 10, something like that. Jeremiah 49. And uh I think it's ten. Forty Jeremiah forty nine. It's been a while since I've been there. It might be forty six. Let's go to forty six. Jeremiah. We're gonna get it. Forty six. And uh uh and eight. Jeremiah forty six. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. Uh it's all good. We find it. Uh are you a doorkeeper, man? Are you a, a watchman of the house of Israel? You gotta keep the BS out. You got to keep the BS out, man. That's what our job is. Uh, if you ain't doing that, man, then uh, you still in darkness. Shadow of death. Fear got you. That's a stronghold. Fear is a stronghold. Fear is a stronghold. Fear is a stronghold. We want to get you out that stronghold. Those strongholds, man, of being paralyzed. You know? We want to get you out the, those strongholds of being paralyzed. That's what we read in uh, Isaiah 1. They uh, 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 sit in darkness and the shadow of death. Those are strongholds. That's a stronghold. Uh, Jeremiah 48.10 Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. Curse be he that keep it back his sword from blood, man. Right? Let's read it again. Curse be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. A lot of people saying they laboring for the Lord. Remember when the Lord come back, they're going to be saying, Lord, haven't we 
preached in your name, haven't we done this in your name and many wonderful works in your name and cast out devils in your name? He gonna say, depart from me, I never knew you. Eh? They ain't take no persecution for his name. They didn't suffer for his name's sake. Curse be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. They stayed in them buildings, them four walls. Nice air conditioning. Stayed up under flesh and blood preachers. Geno, T.D. Jakes. Prosperity preachers, you know. And they stayed safe, man. They stayed, they stayed on that safety boat. They didn't get out and walk on that water, man. Now, you got, I told you, you got to make yourself known. You say you a witness of Jesus Christ, but you won't make no videos. You ain't got to show your face. You won't even come on the comment boards. You won't even make yourself known. You know, you saying little stuff. You ain't, you ain't stirring up nothing in your family, in your household. You better start some war with your children. You better start preaching. You know they wrong. They beliefs, they taking on the beliefs of the heathens. They, they got worldly, ungodly beliefs. You got to make war with that. Your husband, your wife, you got to make war with their belief system. Huh? With their belief system. For they try to drag that junk in your household. And a lot of you have been overtaken. By the spirit of the devil. Y'all let that worldly music just play in your household? You ain't saying nothing. You kind of tap your feet to it. Because you can't. You still enjoy it. That's darkness. That worldly music is darkness, man. Yeah, there was some jams to our flesh. That life is supposed to be passed away, man. Former th all things that become new in Christ. See, you still on the devil's side. That's powers of darkness, man. Uh, powers of darkness, a little leaven, I understand this, a little leaven leave it the whole lump. A little, uh, you're supposed to hate it all. Burn it all up, man. With the scriptures. Burn it. By what? Condemning it? Yeah, you're supposed to be still listening to the Smokey Robbers and the Miracles. All them oldies but goodies. Come on now. Y'all still going to family reunions, hanging around these sinners. They disrespecting Jesus Christ. Y'all not rebuking these people. They supposed to not want you showing up. You supposed to be that powerful and holy. They supposed to pass the word, try to ignore you. They, they, they supposed to not want you to come. Because of your stand in Jesus Christ. But you want to be a part of it. You don't want to miss out. Holidays. Huh? Family get-togethers, man. You supposed, to, you supposed to be the one they don't want to see. Huh? Because you bring, you, you, what? Dealing with the BS. You keeping the BS out, man. You real. When you real, they don't want to deal with you. Let me read this again, because some of y'all think I'm tripping. But I got one for you right after this. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitful. That's what you're doing. If you ain't bringing a sword to these devils, to the darkness, if you ain't shining that light, you're doing the work of the Lord deceitfully. And cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Cut they damn head off. Cut they ass, they lying ass. Cut Gino ass. How you gonna like with Gino? You don't see the errors in hit this man? TDJ's worldly prospect, Christian. You don't see the errors in this stuff? Are you that lost? Are you that lost that you don't see the, the foolishness of this world? The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Man's wisdom is foolishness. That Jesus is God alone. There's none above him. Uh, no religion shall be his mate. You don't live by every word of God. So that means you don't have the fear of God in you. That's what it is. You don't have the fear of God in you. 
You full of darkness. You full of corruption. You can't have the fear of God. That's what darkness do. Have a party because they Jesus ain't there. Darkness is roaches. You know, you, you turn the light on and them roaches be scattering everywhere. That's what you supposed to be doing. Scatter these roaches with the light of Jesus Christ. We've been reading it the whole time. The day dawn, the day star arise in your heart. That's repellent. You're supposed to be chasing these damn devils. One to put a thousand to flight. Two will put ten thousand to flight. No damn sinners want to be around me. And if they do, and if if they comfortable around me, I'm doing something wrong. If they comfortable around you, you doing something wrong. Curse be he that doeth the the work of the Lord to see. That's what you doing. You doing the work deceitfully. And curse be he that keepeth his sword back from the scriptures of the sword. What do you do with a sword? What do you do with a sword? Now some of y'all still think I'm tripping. Come on. Come on, King Superman. Pick it up. Because they think you tripping. Okay. We're going to go scripture. We're going to go scripture. Well, we've been doing scripture, right? We're going to do some more scripture. How's that? Let me say it that way. We're going to do some more scriptures. All right? What you say to this one? What you say to this one? Right? Uh, Psalm 94, 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? What you say to that? If I've been tripping this whole time... What you say to that? Put it on the comment board. If I'm wrong, bring forth your debate. Huh? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? That's what I've been talking about this whole time. Are you a watchman? Are you a doorkeeper? Keep out the BS. Because they're not a part of the kingdom of God. Don't let it stand with you. Don't let it come around you. Don't let it ride with you. If they around me and they talking about the scriptures, if they talking about Jesus Christ, if they talking about the, the, the Holy Bible, I ain't letting that ride. Uh-uh. No. Okay. Y'all around me? What y'all talking about? I'm going to make sure, hey, I'm a brother keeper. Are you your brother keeper? Are you your sister keeper? I can't make sure they on point. I got to make sure that, because my life is right. The Bible said he that wins souls is wise, right? Uh, that's your job is to win souls. Uh, Jesus said he'll leave the 99 to go after that one lost sheep. Do you have Jesus' heart? That's what Jesus said he would do. He would leave 99 to go find that one lost sheep. And if, and if it's in your vicinity... And they got the Bible open? Oh, I got to go. I got to go see what y'all talking about. They talking about the Lord? No, oh, I, I got to know what you know about the Lord, man. Huh? You say, well, you being nosy. Where was Jesus being nosy when he was talking to that woman at the well? He was all in that woman business. He said, go call your husband. I ain't got no husband. He said, you right. And the, one, the one you with now ain't your husband. He all in that woman business. And he said, you had, you had several husbands. And the one you with now ain't your... You got to get in these people business. Get in their business. Righteously, though. I ain't talking about gossiping. Getting in their business. Well, girl, I would have done this, girl. Yeah, done. How you going to let him talk to you? I ain't talking about in the flesh. I'm talking about righteous judgment. How you do righteous judgment, King? You got to be cleansed. You got to be purified. You got to be sanctified. Lord will raise you up that way. When you sincere. How you, well, let's get some scripture on that. Let's get some scripture on that. If we got time. I don't know how much time is on this camera. But we doing it, man. Because it's all about perfection, man. It's all about perfection. 
Let's start with uh, Psalms 12, verse 5. Psalms 12, I don't know how much time we got. I hope we don't get cut off. But uh, Psalms 12, verse 5, man. And it says, uh, For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy. Now will I arise, said the Lord, I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. Because the word comes to put us in safety, protect us. The word is our comfort. Verse 6, the words of the Lord, here it is, are pure words. See, ain't nothing, ain't nothing uh, defiled about God's word. Ain't no darkness in his word. Ain't nothing perverted about God's word. Understand that. There's no perversion in God. The words of the Lord are pure words. As silver is tried in the furnace of the earth, purified seven times. That's why he choose you and me. That's why we go through the, the fire, man. The fiery furnace. To be purified. By his word. That's why you got to take his word in the fires. That's why you got to suffer for his name's sake. Y'all starting to get this? You have to suffer for his name's sake through the fires, man. Through the fires. Let's get that, uh, long chances. I, I think it's Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24, what? Oh, man, it's been so long. This is, uh, uh, Oh, there it is, 2415. Isaiah 2415. And it says, Wherefore glorify ye the Lord in the fires. Even the name of the Lord God. That's Jesus Christ. That's Jesus Christ. Because the devil coming to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. He coming to take the name from you. In the isles of the sea. Let's read that again. Wherefore glorify ye the Lord. In the fires. That's in your trials, man. When Jesus was, uh, when Judas betrayed Jesus, remember they took him to the hall of Praetorium, the courtroom. That, that was the fires. That was the trial when Jesus was on trial and all that. And they was bringing false witnesses and all of that. And that's when they uh, smoked the shepherd. And then they was torturing Jesus, smacking him and spitting on him, hitting on him. You know, uh, 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 blaspheming him. You know, and the, and the sheep, the disciples ran from. They ran from it. They ain't want no part of that, man. Those are the fires, man, that you go through for His name's sake. We suffer for His name's sake. That's how you come out of the darkness. That's how you come out of shadow of death. Now, that's all through the scriptures, man. We ain't got enough time. There's so many scriptures on it. We ain't got enough time for it. To go through five of those scriptures. Acts uh, 4. Let's go there. 17. Acts 4, 17. Acts 4, 17. But that it spread no further among the people. Let us strictly threaten them. You gonna be threatened on your job? I done lost so many jobs for preaching Jesus. I lost a lot of jobs, man. But every job I lost, the Lord took me higher. I had a better job. I went to a better job. More rest. I kept getting more and more rest as I was persecuted for his name's sake. Let us strictly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man. In this name, and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name Jesus. Uh, they threatened them and they commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name Jesus. This is all through the Bible, man, especially the book of Acts. Let's go to Acts 5 for time's sake. Let's go right next door, Acts chapter 5. That's your fire. Man, we got to suffer for his name. At the day dawn and the day star, if he arise in your heart, you got to glorify 